Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Dream Trip Oz, the big lap. And uh, we got a big episode coming up. We're making our way down the coast again, of course, uh, heading down south to Harvey Bay and Tin Can Bay for this episode. But we are stopped at the moment at the beautiful Bundaberg. That's right, at the moment we are just outside the uh, Mon Repos Turtle Centre, uh, which is where the largest congregation of um, marine turtles come to hatch a nest every year, uh, at least on the Australian East Coast, that is. Uh, but we don't have long here. We've only got one night in Bundaberg and then we push on. So we'll see. We're hoping to get some swimming in, maybe even some snorkeling, and uh, we might even hit the distillery because we are, after all, in the rum capital of Australia. And I'm sure Meg is tonguing for a bevy so we'll see how we go but after this pushing on Harvey Bay and Tin Can Bay we've got a whale watching experience booked where we may even be able to get in the water and swim with them uh, that's out of Harvey Bay and Tin Can Bay uh, who knows might even get some dolphin feeding in so stay tuned plenty of action in this episode of course if you haven't already please like and subscribe because after this episode we push on to Gary Fraser Island which uh, I'm super excited about there's heaps of action there uh, uh, four wheel driving uh, sand driving beautiful camping probably dingoes uh, we'll see epic spot can't wait we got about a week there so we should be able to see everything there is to offer on Gary so stay tuned this episode though Harvey Bay, Tin Can Bay, and a little bit of Bundaberg. So, rock and roll. Uh, that was pretty cool, but, uh, and the interactive thing looked really awesome. There's a through the door there's this huge screen with uh, turtles and stuff swimming around it looked incredible but we run out of time we got 20 minutes before it closes so it wasn't going to be worth the money to run in and run out so we might have to come back another time we'll put it on the list hey Bundaberg will be a return trip on the next lap anyway we're going to push on we're going to find a beach that we can swim at I think it's called the basin in a, a small spot called Bargara not sure how to pronounce it again I'll put the uh, title down the bottom of the screen here but uh, apparently there's some good snorkeling swimming a nice little sheltered bit for the kids too so stay tuned we'll show you when we get there one hand at 12 o'clock on the wheel of the car the other resting up against the half-open window Sun bathes my skin with its warm energy Gusts of wind ripple in and dance through my hair As I stare along the straightest road I've ever Let's see what we can find We won't pretend we're sad Cause it's wondrous here Wish you were here too Well, just down the road, about uh, 10 minutes or so, is a spot called Coral Cove and Barrelin Rock. I think that's how it's pronounced. Barrelin Rock, we got a hot tip from a uh, local that uh, it's a great spot for snorkeling. I don't know, it's a bit hectic at the minute, so I don't know if we're too keen on snorkeling, but there's plenty of rock pools for the kids to discover too, so come along. Oh, must be. Go! No. 
must be home. Must be home. Hey, all right, we're in another spot now called Elliot Heads. Uh, we are running out of daylight. It's probably uh, four thirty or something now. So, but we'll go see what we can see. Come for a look. Oh, what do you know the kids have found a playground right everywhere we go we've got to stop and play on the playground everywhere oh. well Bundaberg is uh, famously flat and you know how we like a lookout so we found the one lookout in town uh, I think it's only like 90 meters above sea level or something. I'll check that and I'll put it here on the screen, but it's called the hummock. Come and have a look. It's actually really pretty. Let's go have a look. As promised, it's uh, nine o'clock in the morning. It's probably too early for a rum. No. <laughs> so we are at uh, the Bundaberg Brewed Drinks Company, or what they call the Barrel. Come and check it out. Looks cool. This is a bit more family friendly, I think, for uh, nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, I'm pretty keen. You can, you get yourself a mixed little cardboard six pack thing and you can mix yourself a uh, mixed six pack. So this is going to be the hard part, picking which flavours. Maybe we should have got two, two six packs. I think there's 13 flavours all up. Sarsaparilla. Definitely need to get sarsaparilla. Definitely need sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla for the win. Right, pineapple and coconut. Okay, with my later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, did you make good choices? I think so. I think so. We'll find out. Oh, maybe we should get two. <laughs> well, we've got our mixes. <laughs> now to the rum distillery. Uh, we're not huge rum drinkers, but Meg loves a good spice rum, don't you? I'm all about the spice drum. <laughs> <laughs> so we're a bit early, we might have to wait for the car park for a bit for it to open. It opens up at 10 o'clock, so we're gonna pop in and we're just gonna have a look, have a look in the gift shop, see what there is to see. We don't have time for a tour, we're gonna keep pushing to Harvey Bay today. 
pretty excited. Anyway, stay tuned, we'll show you the distillery gift shop. Rum drinker or not, you can't come to Bundaberg without coming to the Bundaberg rum distillery, hey? Beautiful day for it too. Might even have one. Haven't had a drink in a long time, but this could tip me over the edge. Breakfast. I've got <laughs> some school supplies for Rowan. Right. <laughs> that'll, that'll get us through the rest of term four. All right, kids, let's go. We've got what we came for. Next stop, Harvey Bay. Hey guys, welcome back. We're heading out today to do some exploring around Harvey Bay, the general Harvey Bay area. We're gonna head to the waterfront, check out all the beaches and stuff. But our first stop this morning is the Urangan Pier, which is, uh, it looks like a huge pier, but they've got massive tides here too. So when the tides weigh out, you can um, walk all the way under the pier. I think low tides just after lunch. So we'll check that out. But first up, there's a market, of course. Uh, it's Saturday here in Harvey Bay, so we're going to hit the uh, Urangan Pier Market. So, come along. Daryl's Donuts, Harvey Bay. What are we? Urangan Market. Magnificent. Two each, babe. Yeah, I know. What are the kids going to have? Nothing. <laughs> How's this spot? Urangan Pier. I think it's about a kilometre long. Um, it feels like it. <laughs> but how's this in the background here? You can see all the way to Gary, all the way to Fraser Island. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful day. It's so clear. The water is so still. It's uh, incredible how flat it is here and calm. Um, beautiful spot. Urangan Pier. Uh, definitely make sure you put this on your list. The market was great this morning too. It's nice, there were some unique things there too. And of course, the um, gluten-free, dairy-free donuts, which were 
I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go out here on a limb and say the best donut, the best donut I've ever eaten. just stopped for some lunch in a spot called Torquay which is funny because we're going to Torquay down in Geelong too down on the surf coast in Victoria where we're from um, beautiful spot I mean the whole beach along here is just beautiful very calm very flat safe for swimming uh, but we are going to shoot along there is a surf life saving club and a patrolled area there's a jetty there and stuff so we're going to go down there uh, we're all getting kitted out into our bathers and uh, we're going to have a swim because it's cooking today <laughs> <laughs> so just at the west end of town here there's a uh, a huge splash park check this out this is epic I'm not coming home Over, I guess we're over And there's nothing left we can do So I sing it, hey, hey Get out of my way, way Get out of my way Get out That's insane. <laughs> it keeps coming next. Next turn, next. <laughs> driven past it a few times already the kids keep pointing and yelling we've got to stop you can't go past it if you come in here Harvey Bay got to stop at this spot it's called Adventure Side and it's an epic looking playground come and have a look a real quick one too. This is just a funny little quirk that I've found here in Harvey Bay. Is they've got these massive car parks. Excellent idea if you've got a big car like ours, big wide Land Cruiser, and kids who swing the door open with no regard to who's parked next to them and how close, or they just leave their doors wide open. <laughs> but the parks are huge, see that? To a God that hates Anyway, life is what you make it for. 
guess I'm out of my head. Hey guys, welcome back. Well, we thought yesterday's market was good. That was the uh, Urangan Pier market on a Saturday in uh, Harvey Bay. But we got a hot tip. We ran into an old couple who've been traveling this country for years and years, and they reckon the best market to go to is happening today in uh, a little place called Nickenbar, uh, which is about a 15 minute drive from Harvey Bay heading towards back towards Maryborough. Now look, we've seen heaps and heaps of markets. When you're traveling like us, uh, they've got, there's a market in every town, in every suburb, and they generally have pretty much the same stuff. But there's nothing better than when you, when you roll up to a market and they've got something different, something a bit quirky. Yesterday's market, for example, the best kombucha I've ever tasted. And there was a cool stall that were, you could make your own, uh, what do they call it? Like turned timber pen, which was really cool. But anyway, uh, today, the, the market that we're going to, about 190 stalls, they reckon. 190 stalls, so there's gotta be something different, something unique for everyone to see. So, uh, tag along, we're almost there, and uh, I'll show you through the market when we get there. We're going for the gluten-free donuts. That's right, I reckon <laughs> Daryl's donuts have gotta be there. So, there's no doubt. We're gonna have to try some different flavors instead of just chocolate. What do you reckon, kids? <laughs> Breakfast donuts? Yeah! Well, that's it. it. Looks huge. There's plenty of people here and plenty of stalls, so we better find something interesting. Looks good. Looks like there's fresh produce and stuff here too, which is great. We love these kinds of markets. Community markets, local produce, way to go. We'll see you in there. Well, I see rainbows out my window, but the rain has gone away. And they keep talking, but I ain't listening. No, I just turn the other way. Cause I don't wanna hear you last night. Hey, that was a great market. Hey, any market that sells uh, Daryl's donuts like that is a good market in my opinion. So we managed to find, track them down again two days in a row. So pretty happy with that result. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna head back in town and do some more exploring back in Harvey Bay. We'll see you there. Well, our new trip to Harvey Bay is complete. Uh, without stopping in at the Harvey Bay uh, Regional Gallery. But I think we're too late. It's two o'clock on a Sunday afternoon and I think they're closed, but you can still check out the whale sculpture, which looks magnificent. Stainless steel and timber whale sculpture. Wow, it's massive, isn't it? Would you look at this? This is impressive, hey? Wow, I'm so impressed. This is incredible. It's beautiful. It's really well built. I reckon that must be life size. You gotta see it. If you're coming here, Harvey Bay, you gotta drop in and check it out. Oh. Ah, well, I promised the kids I'd take them back to the splash park and let them have another go on those water slides. Those water slides, by the way, uh, the whole splash park is free except the water slides. $7.20 for 10 goes. <laughs> and the kids can share it. So if you get one um, wristband, they can, they'll can they just scan it twice and both kids can go down. So uh, $7.20, that's a pretty good price. Keeps them occupied for an hour or so. Anyway, we're going to head back there get wet, cool down. It's Sunday afternoon, it's probably gonna be packed. It was packed yesterday, Saturday. So, we'll see. Anyway, uh, tomorrow, more adventures. We're day, what are we? Day two now of Harvey Bay, or day three, I can't even remember. <laughs> but tomorrow, more adventures. We'll do some more sightseeing. Uh, tomorrow's Monday, and then Tuesday, Tuesday's the day, yeah? Tuesday, we hit the uh, whale watching experience. All right, well, if you want a guaranteed windy day, 
ask us to book a boat cruise. You can, uh, nothing is surer than if we book a cruise, it'll be windy. It happened on uh, Green Island, it happened on Magnetic Island, it happened on Hamilton Island, uh, it happened on our trip out to um, Whitehaven Beach, and uh, it's happening today, Harvey Bay, uh, whale watching cruise. Anyway, we'll make the most of it. It might mean that the whales are more playful, who knows? sure was a, um, a creature of myth. We saw an actual dugong. <laughs> Dolphins, turtles, this has been epic. Uh, despite the weather, it's still been amazing. Just amazing. We've seen two pods now, uh, mother and calf duos, and it's been sensational. Sensational. Highly recommend. Lift 
Lift up your skirt Inject you with my love Cause there's nothing else for me to do To keep myself away from you And everything it happens for Some kind of reason You can take me anywhere Or strip me from my underwear As long as we are having fun Just don't tell your mother Cause we put the feet in the back Just awesome, hey! It's only a short trip to get out to where you actually see the whales. I think it took us about uh, maybe 20, 25 minutes before we saw the first pot of whales, and then uh, and then it was on. It's been a beautiful day, despite the weather uh, and despite the season coming so very close to an end. Uh, we still saw whales and we still saw plenty of action. So, well worth it. Uh, of course, if I could say one thing, I would highly recommend coming earlier than we did in the season so it's uh what the uh, mid-october now so I, I would recommend coming uh september sometime probably early september i'll look it up and find out when the best times it are um so that you see the most whales but uh just incredible an amazing experience what incredible creatures anyway we're back at Harvey Bay now. Today, for the rest of the day, we make our way down to Tin Can Bay. We've got two nights there before we make our way across to Gari. So stay tuned and we'll show you all the action in Tin Can Bay. Rock and roll. Righto. So just down the street from the um, Garan Park, uh, like a six minute drive, is uh, the Buccaneer Dolphin Experience. When you're in Tin Can Bay, this is the place to be. Uh, they, you can actually feed the dolphins. Not like uh, at Monkey Mire where you can watch them feed the dolphins here you can pay I think it's ten dollars if you get here early enough ten dollars and they give you a fish to feed the uh, to feed the dolphins they're a, a river dolphin I'll see if I can find a, more, a bit more information about them when we get there but uh, it's 6 30 in the morning they say you've got to get here early the dolphins roll in anywhere between seven and eight o'clock but you've got to get here early if you want to get a ticket to feed so here we are which is luck, it's been raining. So it's wet and it's cold. It was cold last night too. So <laughs> we are um, halfway through October in uh, Tin Can Bay and it's cold. Anyway, our version of cold at the moment is um, a bit different to what it used to be. Righto, check it out. Ah, it's not even seven o'clock, the dolphins are already here. How awesome. And they're like playing and jumping out of the water. Hopefully they let us in soon and we can uh, get nice and close to them, get a look. So just remembering we can't touch them but we can definitely look at them and we can talk to them. So if you talk to them they can hear you. Which this one? is Luna. Luna. And this is Joe. Oh hello Luna and Joe. Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> so these are our juvenile boys. Oh, gorgeous. You can see he's been in a big fight. So what's your name, sweetie? Georgia. Georgia. Hey, Georgia. Are you going to feed them? Hold it really tight. Don't let go. And then gently in the water. Good girl. Good Going to feed Joe now? When you're ready, just pop your hand under your skull. She'll come and take it. Don't let go of it. She'll take it off there. Oh, Georgia, these are wild dolphins. You just went to us there. Oh, 
Oh, look at the other fish trying to get him. All right, Dad's going? Oh, yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for your help. Oh, my pleasure. Oh, when they blow you through a blowhole, we say that's a kiss. Uh, okay. That means they so like you. Thanks for the kiss. <laughs> Uh, wow. Just the water. Don't go sideways. Hello, sweetheart. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Wow. And it's cool that you got to feed two different ones as well. You're looking at me. <laughs> yes, yep. Who's that, Luna? Hello. Who's that? Ah. Uh, how awesome was that dolphin feeding, hey? Just magnificent. Um, really, my honest opinion, we've been to Monkey Mire, we spent, uh, we went three days in a row uh, out to the dolphin feedings there, and I tell you what, if you have the chance to stop in at Tin Can Bay, uh, you could probably skip Monkey Mire altogether to be um, perfectly honest with you. It was uh, that much better. Just uh, a really cool vibe and um, just really casual. Heaps more dolphins and you can get in and you can actually feed them. Um, I don't know if you, I think you used to be able to feed the dolphins at uh, Monkey Mire, but you certainly cannot anymore. Uh, it's much more heavily regulated there. So uh, yeah, 100%. Drop into Tin Can Bay if you can. Anyway, we're just at the park. Um, gonna let the kids break loose like we always do. But that's about it uh, for this episode. We're um, spending the rest of the day gearing up for our trip over to Gari, Fraser Island. So stay tuned, make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. We have got five nights, I think, now. Five nights on Gari. We're doing... Uh, uh, a few different campgrounds, but we're going to see everything there is to see on uh, Gari Fraser Island. So stay tuned, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. As always, rock and roll. Oh, must be.